Okay guys, so today let's talk about iOS 16.1. This software has been out for approximately one week as of the filming of today's video. There's a few things I want to share with you guys, additional new features and changes of course in this follow-up video, but also give you guys a quick heads up sort of warning as to why you don't want to update to iOS 16.1 as of yet. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now the first two things I want to talk about is two major new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 16.1. If we go into settings here, we go into general, we now find the new matters accessory options right here. So now you'll be able to add third party accessories to control them with Siri and the home application. Of course, this is looking to expand on the home ecosystem and the home application for your iPhone for third party accessories. Something really cool coming with iOS 16.1. Now something else that Apple is enabling with iOS 16.1 is live activities. Now for those of you that do not know, live activities allow you to track something that's happening in real time. For example, maybe a sports event, you can see live scores, see anything that's happening with an event right there on your lock screen without having to have constant notifications. Or maybe if you order food and you're tracking your food before it arrives, you can see the path of the driver before it arrives without having to get constant notifications. Of course, developers do need to update their applications to take advantage of live activities, but it is finally coming with iOS 16.1. Now, there's a few things I've noticed with the software that Apple has also added here. The number one thing is Apple now lets you delete the wallet application from iPhone. Not only remove it from the home screen, but actually delete it if you wish to do so, which is quite interesting. Now, something that's very, very annoying, if I go into the App Store here, for example, and let's say I type something, and I want to copy this and paste this somewhere else, let's say I want to paste it here, it's sort of annoying because it asks you that it's going to be pasting from another application. Now, Apple has confirmed that this is a bug, but it is so annoying, I can't wait for Apple to get rid of this particular issue here within 16.1. Hopefully it doesn't stick around for much longer. Now there's also a new change to the messages application. Now if you get a text message from an unknown sender, you now have two options. On previous beta, you had to click delete, report uh, if it was uh, junk, and then you had to choose, right? Well now you have the option with one screen, you either delete, or report, delete, and report at the same time. So these two were two options separately. It was annoying, it would take forever just to delete a message. Now Apple has fixed that with 16.1, thank God, I was looking forward to that. However, as I mentioned, there's a few things to note before you update to iOS 16.1. Number one, the battery isn't as good as iOS 16 or previous OSs, I've noticed, even on the Macs here. So the battery is getting me through the entire day, but it isn't the best battery performance as of yet. It is to be expected, it is beta software, but just something to note. And the bigger issue here is GPS. Now I've been trying to use my GPS and it just it doesn't work it's got a major delay it is completely broken so just so you know if you don't want a terrible experience ios 16.1 beta does break gps so stay away from the software if you want to have a good experience and if you do use gps a lot you want to stay away from the software to further notice right but so keep you guys updated here of course make sure to subscribe the next beta should be coming soon i'm expecting apple to release the next beta within the next week or so we'll have to wait and see if apple is switching to a week release schedule with this one or going straight to a two weeks release schedule as per usual when it's a major update stay tuned here to the channel because if apple sticks with a one week release schedule we could see the beta as early as later this afternoon on the week of the 20th here or if not two week schedule we see it on the week of the 20th. 26th of September. There you guys have it. Just a quick update, a quick heads up, things that I've noticed. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.